What's up guys, Shepherdzik here back again and we're going to be doing Ivory Tower walkthrough today and we're going to be learning everything that there is to learn about it. So let's get it started. Hope you guys enjoyed that uh, last video uh, when we did the midship walkthrough. Because I know I enjoyed it. I enjoy doing these. They're fun. It also helps me I remember everything. Since I haven't played on these in about 10 years. Alright, so there's a lot to talk about with this map, because it is, uh, it's not that big, but it is still big. Like, there's a lot of places to go in this building. Um, so I guess what I could do is just show you all the nooks and crannies, uh, because this map isn't really a com I mean, it is a competitive map. It was on the circuit back in 2005 through 2007 for Halo 2, but it's not really looked at as a competitive map to some people. So let me just show you a couple places. Uh, there's a carbine back here, you can actually hide back here, and as long as you don't move any of this stuff, nobody will really think to look back here, and then if somebody calls it out, or you can just look at your motion sensor, somebody comes down here, and they're going to be going through this door right here, you can just come over here, back smack them, BXR them, whatever, and get an easy kill. Um, I mean, I don't even know where to start, there's just so many places you could go, you could lift up, uh, there's a sword down there in the, cr in the uh, little pond area below the rocket spawn. Um, I guess we'll just start by lifting you up here. So, if you lift up here, it takes you to where shotgun spawns. And underneath, there's an SMG. Um, you can jump easily onto the hardwood and jump right back. You can also jump on the plant and jump over here and jump right back. And also, naturally break it. So let's say somebody's following you and, you know, you don't want them to jump on it. I don't believe, yeah, you can't even jump on it after it's uh, broken, so that takes care of that. So moving onwards over here to the back, um, well, when Halo Reach there was a dragon on this thing, so we call this back dragon. Um, at least I'm going to be using that call out when I play on this map, I'm sure my teammates are going to be doing the same thing. Um, but back here, this is all hardwood. This wood floor, we call it hardwood. Um, down here are the stairs. I mean, really, there's no set callouts because it's not really a competitive map to a lot of people. So you can call these whatever you want. You know, you can call them back hardwood stairs. Um, you know, you can call them back plasma stairs because there's a plasma rifle right there. Um, you have a plasma pistol right here and nades. Um, you can call this... You can call this... Uh, back uh, back door stairs or back lift stairs you know I mean there's so many possibilities there really isn't any set call outs you can call them whenever you want um, in the hardwood back in Halo Reach we make some call outs called hardwood um, we call this if you're looking up there it's like baseball if you're looking up there and you're looking out here you know that's gonna be left and this is gonna be right we call this right hardwood and we call that left hardwood but you could call this um, you could call this overshield hardwood. I mean, you know, you want to create callouts that don't have s too many syllables so you can say them as fast as you want, you know. Um, but, but the callouts are endless, like I said. Down here, you could call this uh, rocket ammo, bench, you know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, also, if you didn't know, you could break these, you could break this glass. And uh, it was easier to break in uh, Halo Reach, and you could actually go through them. It's a lot easier in Halo Reach. You go through these. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's easier on the other side to go through them. Yeah. They're meant they're meant for the other side, but I believe if you do it right, yeah, you can just go through there. There we go. Alright. Um so here's the rocket ammo and then the rocket launcher spawns right here where the uh, water falls. And then a little spot here, um, red team, okay, so you're you're doing a team match, uh, one team will spawn here, and then one team will spawn actually under the lift down there, and you can actually see, um, this is where the sword spawns, you can actually see it, so you can throw a nade down there, well, actually hold on there, I believe you can throw a nade down there, I could have sworn you could, maybe that was in Halo Reach. 
Huh. I could have sworn you could throw a nade down there. I guess not. Hold on. Let me, uh... Put my carbine right there, right? I disappeared. I'm pretty sure if you have a BR, you can shoot down there. And I, I thought you could throw a nade down there. I don't know. Maybe that was in Halo Reach. Alright, my bad. Uh, moving on here. We've got some nades right here. Uh, I'm not really going to be going over callouts because, like I said, you can call them whatever you want, you know. You can call them front steps, whatever. And then, uh, moving over here, you've got some fusion coils, a plaza pistol, and then um, the other team spawns right down here. Right down here. This is where the uh, flag would be for you to cap if you were playing one flag. And I guess you really can't. You really can't uh, do what you could do in Halo Reach. Well, that's unfortunate, because that was really cool. Alright. Moving on from our sadness. Um, down here, we've got some soda machines. And, uh, not in this area, there's a magnum right here. Um, some, you can hide behind here and wait for somebody to come by. If you've got a shotgun and sword, kill them. Um, in the other room over here, there's some soda machines. Well, I thought, or maybe that was Halo Reach, too. What the heck? I think that was Halo Reach too. God, I played so much on Reflection. Reflection was the name of uh, the remake of this map in Halo Reach. I played so much of that map that I'm really st like starting to think that I'm still playing on that map. <coughs> but there were soda machines there, and uh, I was going to say you could call that soda room, but uh, I guess you can't. I mean, you can if you want, but. Um, okay, so that's the elevator. Uh, one of my favorite spots to be is up here with a shotgun and then look down. Because a lot of people don't expect someone to be looking down because, um, there's no way for them to know that you're coming up other than looking down because this will always make the same noise over and over. Um, a sniper spawns up here if you didn't know. Um, it's a good perch. You can see pretty much everything here. You can also see people coming up that way. You can't see people coming up that way because that is blocked off, but, um, you know, these, that's the shoddy hallway, this is the overshield hallway, you know, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, down here, there is a lift that will take you up. And this is where overshield is, it gives you two layers of overshield, as always. And there's a new layer down there, there's, uh, here's another window to help you to go through. And, uh see here. I've already showed you down there. We got sword spawns there. Uh, you can hide behind these if you get in there and you can just back whack somebody coming. I mean there's a bunch of different hiding spots. Uh, if, you'd, if you'd never played a game type called hide and seek, this was a very popular map for hide and seek. It was really fun. Uh, you could hide in the palm tree right here. You could just you know sit here and you were camouflaged because you were playing hide and seek. Um, you can hide in that palm tree, I believe, if you get a good jump, or maybe not, or you, like you could nade yourself up there. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. <coughs> oh, there's a BR that spawns there. Um, we call we call this uh, mid level or bamboo tree because this is where you know the bam tree, bamboo tree starts. So we have the overshield over there, we've got sniper up there, uh, sword spawns down there, and then rockets spawn right here. Uh, shotgun spawns right over there. Um, let's see here, let's see if I can teach you guys any more jumps other than this and that. Um, you can get up here and, you know, just hide or whatever. Um, I believe you can combo it by jumping over there, yes you can, okay. Um, you can look down here. Um, there isn't much to this map. This map is bigger than it seems just because of all the different uh, doorways that you can go through and everything. Um, but yeah, there's no, um, as far as I know, there's no super bouncing on this map. Uh, there was a way you could get out of the map, I believe. And that's by like, going over here and doing something, I'm not really sure what it was, I think if somebody like
butterflied you and kept doing it, you'd like glitch through the freaking level and go out and you could walk on the ground that's like covered in mist and stuff. It was really cool. Um, but this map is has been played, you know, you played Bomb on it, you played One Flag, Slayer, um, Team Slayer. It's a really good FFA map in my opinion. The One Flag spawns there, the Bomb spawns there, and then you're always gonna, you know, cap the flag right where Sword spawns where I showed you. Uh, next to where that sign was. But other than that, there's not, there's nothing really else to this map. There's not too many jumps. It really is just controlling this uh, tower, controlling the sniper, and making sure that you know when the rockets are going to spawn, get the ammo, and then come back up here. You have one guy in this hallway, you've got one guy in that hallway, one guy up here sniping, and then one guy right here watching lift, and that's a, you know, basic setup, and it's probably the best setup you're going to get. Um, or you could have somebody roaming around the hardwood looking for people, but uh, controlling the upper uh, part of this map is the most important thing because that sniper, um, <coughs> excuse me, will keep on spawning. So you want to control that. I'm um, trying to think if there's anything else. Um, you can jump up here, jump on this, and go up here. Um, there's a bunch of different things you could do. You could actually jump up here, I believe. Let me try to do that again. I remember that, because there's a bunch of different hide-and-seek things that I'm trying to remember back from playing the game type. I believe you can jump up here, yes you can, which is a really good spot if you have a sniper rockets, definitely. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all that's to you, Ivory Tower, you know, um, I missed those plant things to jump on, those were awesome back in the day. And uh, this map is very different from Reflection. Uh, this is more open in reflection. You can actually go. There were like doorways that you could go. The lifts weren't right here. They were like right here, and um, yeah, it's just really different. That's why I was getting confused at the beginning. Um, but yeah, this is Ivory Tower. Uh, it's an awesome map. It's one of my favorite maps, and uh, I highly recommend you voting for it when it comes into the. Um, voting options when you're playing Halo Master Chief Collection, and I guess that's it. You guys have seen Ivory Tower, you've seen some of the callouts, you know where everything spawns, so I think you're ready to go out there and uh, crap on some kids on this map, so I will be moving on to the next map, and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.